Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways to fix iPhone touch screen not working problem. If you have an iPhone touch screen of which is unresponsive, then in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to fix it without erasing your iPhone. So make sure you watch this video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone problem. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you an important thing about this topic. It will take only 10 or 12 minutes of your precious time and it's well worth it. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see here I have an iPhone with touch screen problem. Touch screen of this iPhone is completely unresponsive. As you can see when I try to remove the notification here, touch screen is not working. It's completely unresponsive to touch. All the physical buttons like power button, mute button and volume buttons work perfectly but the only thing that doesn't work is touch screen in most cases this happens because of a minor software problem if it is a software problem then it can be easily fixed by any of the following methods that i'm going to show you in this video our first method is hard rebooting the iphone that is unresponsive to touch if you are using iPhone X or above, then the key combination of hard rebooting is press volume up, volume down, then press and hold the power button. Just keep pressing it. Your device will turn off. As soon as you see the Apple logo, just release the power button. After that, your iPhone will be hard rebooted. Once your iPhone is rebooted, just check if touch screen is working or not. As you can see, mine is not working. If you are using an iPhone, which is iPhone 7 or 8, the key combination of hard reboot is pressing and holding the power button and volume down button. Just keep press and holding these two buttons. Your device will turn off. As soon as you see the Apple logo, just release both buttons. After that, your device will be rebooted. And what if you are using an iPhone that is older than iPhone 7, like iPhone 6s or older? For these phones, the key combination is press and hold the power button and the home button. Press these two buttons. Just keep press and holding these two buttons until you see the Apple logo. Once the Apple logo appears, just let go of every button. That is how you can do hard reboot of every iPhone. Try this method by yourself. If your iPhone's touch problem is fixed, then good. If it doesn't, just skip to the next method. Our second method is using a software to fix iPhone touch problem. And with this method, you can fix your iPhone problem without erasing your iPhone. In other words, without losing your data. And the software I'm going to use is called iMovie any fix you can get the software from the link given in the video description below this software is also available for windows users so if you are using windows then you don't have to worry you can fix your problem using your windows computer so just go ahead download and install the software i will leave the link of the software in the video description below after installing it just open it up once the software is open click on system repair as you can see with this software you can fix iPhone problems that are listed here. With this software you can also fix your iPad problems that have these issues as listed here. So in my case I'm going to choose the first option. Next click on start now. Click on continue. This software gives you three options to fix a software problem of any iPhone. The first option is standard repair. With this option, you can fix your iPhone problem without erasing it. If the standard repair couldn't fix your problem, then you have to use either of these options. But these two options will erase your iPhone. So in my case, I'm going to go with the first option because I don't want to lose my iPhone data. After that, click on this green button. Next, you have to get your iPhone into recovery mode or DFU mode. This software gives instructions for every available iPhone models. So just put your iPhone into recovery mode or DFU mode by following the instructions provided by the software. 
All right, now I'm gonna put my iPhone into recovery mode by following the instructions given by the software. Okay, all you have to do is get your phone into this screen, which is called recovery mode. After putting your iPhone into recovery mode, you might see some message like this from iTunes. Remember, this message is from iTunes and it's asking me to update or restore the phone, which I'm not going to do because iTunes will erase everything from my iPhone. So all you have to do is click on cancel and close the iTunes. All right, after that, you have to download latest version of iOS for your iPhone, which is also called firmware. There are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading through the software. If you click on download, it will start downloading. So I'm just gonna cancel it. And the other option is downloading the firmware through a web browser if you want to download through browser just click on this link it will open the browser will start downloading the firmware automatically so i'm just going to cancel it because i already have one so i'm just going to select my firmware which i downloaded by clicking on this link you can choose whichever option you want it's all up to you after that the repairing process will begin during this process make sure your computer has an active internet connection and do not disconnect your iphone just leave it as it is and this process will take about 10 to 15 minutes okay after the long repairing process if you see this green check mark on your computer that means this software has successfully fixed your iphone's touchscreen problem after this your iphone will restart after restarting your iphone should work normally so let's see boom as you can see my touchscreen is now working now type your iphone passcode that you were using before and now let's see do i have my apps and files yes here are my apps sorry let's see do i have my photos yes all my photos are there as you can see none of them are touched okay before i go to the next method there are some things that you should know about the software that i used in this method the software i used is not free you have to purchase it even after purchasing the software if you could have fixed your iphone's problem then you have two options the first option is to contact the support team of the software to get your problem fixed and the other option is to get a refund the software has a money back guarantee so you don't have to worry about your money so with that said let's move on to the next method okay our third and last method is dfu restoring your iphone with itunes and remember dfu restoring will erase everything from your iphone if you don't want to erase your iphone but still want to fix your iphone's problem then try second method and if you don't mind then Keep watching this video and I'll show you how you can DFU restore your iPhone with iTunes. Okay, now let me show you how you can DFU restore your iPhone with iTunes. And again, remember, this process will erase everything from iPhone. So, I've already backed up my iPhone. So, I'm just going to show you just in case you don't know how to DFU restore your iPhone. So, first of all, connect your phone to your computer. Next. If you are using iPhone X or later, press volume up, volume down, and keep pressing the power button. If you are using iPhone older than iPhone X, then just go to Google and search your iPhone model and DFU mode, and you will find information from there. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes will automatically pop up asking you to update or restore your iPhone. So all you have to do is click on restore. Once the restoration process is completed, you will see this message from iTunes. It says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. Just click on OK. And now you can close iTunes. Next, wait for your iPhone to reboot. After that, your problem should be fixed. Once your iPhone is rebooted, all you have to do is set it up. 
I am not going to bore you by going through all those boring setup process. I will set up this phone off camera. Alright, so those were my three ways to fix an iPhone, touch screen of which is not working. If you could have fixed your iPhone's problem even after trying these methods, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue. And the best way to fix it is to contact Apple's support team. And the best way to do is through Apple's live chat. So go ahead and go to Google and type Apple live chat and sign in with your Apple ID and contact their support team to get your problem solved instantly. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you did, then please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.